So we're going to give you an example of how easy it is to use the Identity Aware proxy to take a typical corporate enterprise app and make it available to your users. Now, the specific app we're going to use in this case is as enterprise as it comes. It's Oracle eBusiness Suite running on Google Cloud Platform. And as a company, we want our users to access this application, whether they're in the office or they're out on the road. So let's see how simple that is to do with IAP. Neil's going to click the button to turn on IAP. He's then going to tell us what domain he wants to publish that application for. And now users in that domain and only that domain can access the application. So let's test it out. He's going to flip over to a, a browser tab. Now, first thing is, there's no VPN software installed on this machine. We are just navigating to the URL. Now, first, he's going to try his personal Gmail account, which has not been authorized for this application. And sure enough, he's denied. Now he's going to try it with his corporate account, which has been authorized. And he gets the username. He gets the password. But now he will get prompted to enter his second key authentication. So if you look on the sides, I think we're going to project that up in a second. Well, OK, trust me, he pushed, there it is, he pushed the security key. I think you know what that works like. Um, and now he's taken directly into the application without having to have another additional login step needed. Not only is this easier for the developer, it's easier for the admin, and Lord knows it's easier for the end user rather than hassling with a bunch of VPN software, and it's more secure because we're not trusting anybody who just happens to come in through a VPN tunnel. So that's IAP. 